Hello, it's Patrick here from thegaragebandguide.com. In this video, I'm sharing three secrets that you've probably not come across before and that are guaranteed to improve your garage band game. Let's get started. Yes, well, we've all been there. You've recorded a chunky rhythm guitar part that fits your project well, but when you've come to mix your magnum opus, you prefer that guitar part to be a bit thicker. In an ideal world, you could just record another guitar track to thicken out your sound, but often that's not possible or convenient. Or maybe you're just too lazy to get all your recording gear out again for one guitar part. Simply making a duplicate track and copy pasting your recorded guitar regions into it definitely isn't the answer though. This will increase the volume of the part, but it sounds unnatural and will just bog down your mix. Instead, we need to go one step further. Open your double tracks, smart controls, and dive into the plugins menu. From here, we're looking for the audio units menu, then Apple's built-in effects. Select audio unit delay. So now hike the wet dry slider up to 100% wet. This will mean that GarageBand will be outputting only the affected signal. Then click and drag the delay marker. Now you'll want a delay time of between 0.2 and 0.1, depending on the part that you're looking to double. I prefer a delay feedback time of no more than 25%, but you'll need to experiment here to get things sounding just right. And there you go, that gives us a fairly respectable recreation of a doubled effect. GarageBand has a built-in way to increase or decrease the tempo or the playback speed of your project. You'll find tempo changes in classic tracks like Bohemian Rhapsody, Paranoid Android, Toxicity, and of course, Come On Eileen by the legendary Dexys Midnight Runners. Creating tempo changes in GarageBand actually works very similarly to automation. There's a dedicated tempo track that you can access from the track menu in the toolbar. From here, you need to click on the point on the tempo line where you'd like your tempo change to start, and then another point to mark where it will end. Click and drag your newly created tempo points to increase or decrease the playback speed. Perfect for the remixers slash mashuppers among you, GarageBand makes it really easy to separate the audio from movie files. Select File from the toolbar at the top of the GarageBand window and hover over Movie. From here, select Open Movie, choose the movie file you have lined up for de-audiofication, 
and it will open up inside GarageBand. The movie's audio, however, will open in a new empty audio track. You can remove the video at any time by clicking on movie in the movie's track header and selecting remove movie and you'll be left with just the audio. So there you have it, three secrets you can use right now to get even more out of GarageBand. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And it lets me know that you want to see more videos like this one. If you're not subscribed to the channel, then now's a great time to do so. We have new GarageBand videos coming your way every week. And don't forget to hit the wee bell icon there to make sure you don't miss a thing. I've been Patrick from the garagebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>